right, welcome back to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel presented by Connors and Ferris. Dan Fates, I am Jenna Cottrell, my Catalana is probably talking to himself in the probably. studio, probably that. All right, we're here at Bill's practice. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share if you enjoy our content. Look at that. Woo! All right, perfect day also, weather-wise here in Orchard Elite Park. Elite weather. Elite they, weather. Yeah. Um, Josh Allen. The news of the day, him winning AFC yeah. Offensive Player of the Week after the win against the Raiders. Look, he doesn't care <laughs> about personal no. awards. 11th time. But still, time. it's the 11th time, and that says a lot about who he yeah. is and what he means to the franchise. I think it means a lot, this one, because of what came before it. And we heard Josh talk after yeah. the game about how he loved the way that he felt after the Jets game because it made this game against the Raiders feel that much better. And, yeah. and, and that perspective and that Josh has had the ability to bounce back. So I think this one does mean more. And we heard from Sean McDermott today about, yes, you want to turn the page and, and every week's different and the most yeah. important game is the next game and all of those things. But what he said about what you can take from this and it being a lesson learned, like a, like a teaching lesson, yeah. I thought really stood out to me. Just solid, right? Just a solid performance. Um, he made his his plays that he needed to make um, where he really um, was spectacular, call it. Um, and then, um, but but overall, for the for the remain for the bulk of the day, he was he played really good, solid football. And I think that's a that's the thing he needs to and and we need to take out of that game and and perhaps even refer back to. Um, from time to time, as I said, a, as a good, you kind of put it on your shelf, and it's a, it's a good trophy to have up there because it's a good reminder of that you can do it when playing a certain way. You can still be, um, in some ways, and spectacular, but also play really winning, you know, really high level winning right. football. My thing from this is the fact that this was not some of the times that Josh has won AFC Offensive Player of the Week. It's like five touchdowns, correct? Four hundred yards, all this stuff. Correct. He had a great game. Let's not yep. let's be real. But at the same point, he was disciplined, and Sean McDermott <sighs> talked about that discipline. He had some incredible throws, obviously, some yeah. spectacular throws that yeah. Sean McDermott put. But he also was smart with the football, wasn't reckless, all of these things. So it was encouraging, I feel like, for him to play the way he did. Yep. He also gets the award, but I feel like it almost reinforces the fact that you don't have to do everything above and beyond. You can yeah. play a really good game, be Josh Allen, do what Correct. makes you you, but also be smart. So we did the pod. We talked about it after the game, especially we were all in the Meadowlands. And I said, like, this is kind of who Josh is. Yeah. Like, like we, we've seen these games at times like we saw in the Meadowlands, and then we've seen him bounce back. So, like, you have to take the good Josh with the bad Josh. And, again, Josh talked about it, that it's a double-edged sword. And he's not going to dull one edge of his sword to make up for the other edge. This is who he is going to be. He has that Brett Favre in him. But when you talked about restraint, and that is perfectly well put, it made me think about – you and me, we do watch, like, the cooking shows. Yeah. And, like, Top Chef. Yeah. And you know when sometimes they put so much stuff in the recipe? Yes. And, and they're like, they're like, okay, like, this fondue and this yes. creme and look oh at this gosh. thing. Oh, my gosh. And, and the judges are like, you put too much in it. Like, have I actually so, love that. The, the yeah. great chefs have restraint. And let their ingredients shine. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I said something smart that a lot of people are going to agree with. Like, Jeff, or Sh Josh, Jeff, <laughs> Chef, Jeff, Chef. Yes, Chef. chef. Yes, Chef. <laughs> uh, the, the fact is better is that what we've seen, and this goes back to what, what we've talked about before in years past, Josh, I mean, a butcher or a surgeon. Yes. Josh is both. Yes. It just matters of what instrument he picks up that day. <laughs> yeah. And you want to know what? In the Meadowlands, he picked up the machete. And the other day, like, the comparison, if you're new here, is that you were either a Butcher. Chef, a chef or a butcher. They both use very sharp objects. One uses a machete, and at the end of the day, you get a pastrami sandwich. And the other one uses a small scalpel, and they can save your life. Mm -hmm. Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, those guys are surgeons. And then you have the other end, which are butchers. Like, at times, it was Cam Newton. Like, you just try to power your way through it. Young Josh was a butcher. He has, can be a surgeon. Mm -hmm. And a re refined chef, where you learn to only use five or six ingredients. And yeah. those ingredients are delicious, and the dish really comes together. Yeah. So I think it... That was one when you were talking about restraint. Now I'm that, hungry. That's what I saw. And <laughs> yeah. I go, it made me think of Top Chef and these cooking shows that we watch, and they're like, perfect amount. A great chef knows when not to put something on the plate. And that's just as important. Yeah. And I think that comes from the discipline, like Sean McDermott said. Yeah. When he said the word discipline, I was like, it's that. It's exactly that. Yeah. Because, Josh, we know how phenomenal he can be, and he can do all these things. But sometimes it's like, 
you need to be also smart. And yep. that takes discipline. And I think that was mm. definitely talked about after the game against the Jets. Yeah. But we talked about, you know, we and we've had the discussion, can Josh change all these things? Can Josh evolve? I think you're going to have those Josh games. Where you're going to have them. It's going to be a part of it. But I think. Because you never want to lose what you. What, exactly. What Josh I, is. But I think it's topical to keep remembering and to keep reminding him. And I think it comes with the fact of you can be really smart with the football I and agree. still have, I mean, that Khalil Shakir touchdown that he threw, like that still, I, I still watch yep. that. I'm just like, how the, yeah, what? Yeah. It's unbelievable. And that's who Josh is. And it's very also, few people on the planet can make that play. Absolutely. Um, I just love also too, like Josh does not care about the personal awards. This one, maybe a little bit. I don't think he does. I really genuinely don't think, I think he's like, yeah, cool. Awesome. I'll say this for a guy that says he doesn't listen to anything. I believe maybe he did t- tune that out this yeah. th- the week after the, after the, the Jets. Jets. I, I believe Josh is pretty pretty aware of social media. Yeah, I mean, I he's, think he's 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 pretty aware of things. Yeah, I I would agree. I think you can you as can we, as we whisper because we are in I the say, Bills facility. Leonard Floyd is right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, well let's actually talk injuries a- about that injuries injury bug biting a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't say bite, but present. I would say yeah. has not been. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Let's not freak out. Exactly. So Tomorrow was a big day. I was going to say, so Leonard Floyd did not practice. Dawson Knox did not practice. Mike, Mike Hyde, Hyde did also, also did not practice. Terrell um, Bernard limited. Yes. And and Jordan, Jordan Phillips, Phillips out with an illness. Um, so five. It's a handful. I was going to say, I don't expect the illness to persist for Jordan Phillips. Are you a doctor? No, but I just don't. I feel like okay. illness is only a couple. Of, okay. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay, there's that. Um, but yeah, we saw mm-hmm. Micah Hyde had the hamstring tape, yep. which we knew it was a hamstring injury. So that's just something to monitor. Like you said, tomorrow will be big. If these yep. guys are back to practicing limited capacity, that's obviously bodes well. Good mm-hmm. sign. Yeah, they have they have depth at safety. Yes. And you know they they've been without it again. We knew these injuries kind of coming on Monday. None of yeah. these were really surprising. Correct. Um, for the space sake of Floyd and Hyde were considered day to day after the game mm-hmm. on Monday. Yes. Looking forward, the Commanders heading to the beautiful is it Rajon, FedEx? Maryland. Is it FedEx Field still? I believe so, yeah. Gorgeous stadium. Cannot wait. Hey, half wait. price hot dogs. <laughs> Cannot wait to see how beautiful I'm that stadium I'm a little nervous. The weather's supposed to be bad. Don't listen to Matt Bove. The weather's not supposed to be. I'm no, more. We don't no, know. No, no. I'm more nervous about the turf. With the weather being bad. It that? is grass. It is grass. Oh, it's grass. I think they have grass there. Well, it's like haunted or something yeah it's not great yeah it's not great i don't know i just i don't love that i don't love the weather you know what i the don't commanders love? could yuck it up the, the, what i don't love is the commander's defensive line they are Be- good because for as as dominant as the jets defense is mm-hmm. the commanders may have a better front four yeah especially with chase young back yeah i talked to spencer brown today like the we asked him what's the first thing you think of when we say commanders Defensive line. He says pass rush. Yeah. And these are guys that just constantly get after you. They can rotate. They are they're as good on the edge with Chase Young mm-hmm. and Montez Sweat mm-hmm. as they are on the inside Interior. with, with yeah. Jared Allen and some of these other guys. Like they are monsters, and this will be a test. The Bills were able to chip Max Crosby every single snap to frustrate him. Yeah. They knew they couldn't let Max Crosby ruin the game. The Commanders have a plethora of players that can yeah. ruin the command, uh, ruin the Bills game. Yeah, no, I, I agree. It's going to be another test mm-hmm. for this Bills offensive line. They did well with Max Crosby, yep. but at the same point, you're going to have a lot of different guys that are very capable. And that is one thing that does scare me because this team, they're playing with a lot of confidence too. Mm-hmm. Let's be real. They're 2-0 right now. They showed a lot of resiliency mm-hmm. in that earlier game um, against Denver when they were down and then came back. Uh, I feel like this is a team that – the talent-wise, it's different. Correct. Bills are more talented. Correct. This is a bad team that doesn't know they're bad yet. No, I think they're... They're playing above their skis. They remind me of a... I don't want to say a Bills team because I don't think Sam Howell is Josh Allen, but... Like I a Tyrod th- team? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, they, if they can yuck it up, yep. they're in it, and mm-hmm. that's what scares me. I, I agree. And Mike talked about how early in the season bad teams don't know they're bad. I don't <laughs> think this team is very good. It's also <laughs> yeah. so important, not who you play, but it's when, when you play them. You play right them. now, this is a team that has a lot of confidence. Yeah. And Sam Howell, who, look, they were really bad against the Cardinals and were able to squeak out a win. Mm-hmm. Sam Howell was sacked six times. I think a lot of people yeah. were like, oh, my gosh, the Washington offensive line is terrible. Those sacks were on Sam Howell. And, yeah. and again, when they say quarterback is sacked, like, 
they don't distinguish between an offensive lineman got beat and Sam Howell putting himself into a being sacked. So yeah. their offensive line isn't great. Sam Howell has shown progress. He had a ton of snaps in college at UNC. Um, he's three and zero in his career. Yeah, like confidence is a hell of a drug, and he may not yeah. know where he is yeah. in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. And confidence can keep you hanging around. Moxie, games. yes, moxie. That's the polite way of saying he's good. He's not very good, but he thinks he's good. Yeah, but I think sometimes moxie works. I think like Ryan Fitzpatrick made a career of moxie. That's fair. Um, he ain't same hell. No, I don't. Sam Howell, ain't, Sam Howell ain't Fitzy. That's fair. I think there's a huge opportunity for the Bills' defense. And you asked a great yeah. question to Sean McDermott about in-game adjustments mm-hmm. because that first drive, I think every Bills fan was like, oh, snap, after the Raiders went walked down the field yeah. and scored. And then you asked Sean about, hey, like those in-game adjustments, how you did that after the first drive. I thought his response was pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take another victory lap here. <laughs> um the preseason doesn't matter, and, and and we have seen that across the NFL where teams have struggled in week one because they don't get reps, they, they're not the starters, it, they're getting adjusted. Right now, since the preseason went to three games, week one has become the preseason for, for most teams. And I was wondering how that was for Sean and the adjustments that the, the defense really didn't make in the second half against New York. I didn't mm-hmm. think they adjusted well enough in game to mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers going out to Zach Wilson coming mm-hmm. in. Then you have the opening drive. And I kind of asked Sean, like, where do you think the adjustments were after that? Because they, they, mm-hmm. they were phenomenal adjustments. Obviously, I knew Sean was going to credit the players. So I took that away from his answer by saying, yeah. I know you're going to say the players. But, like, where do you feel you are? And he kind of joked, and I, I kind of – He was happy. I, I kind of edged him on saying, like, did you need to knock off Rust? Yeah. For, for it being just your second game. And I know you did the preseason, but, like, this is really in-game adjustments. How do you balance going for it on fourth down? But also, we've seen him go over to the defensive line. and We've yeah. seen them to the yeah. bench. You're turning your back as the head coach to the game. That, that is a difficult thing to do. Yeah, And to that's make fair. the adjustments and to take the time. How often do you see on the broadcast, quarterbacks, linebackers, defensive coordinators, they all sit down with the iPads mm. or the tablets and, and, they go, yeah. and they go through everything. When you're the head coach, you really can't, can't do that to yeah, some respect. you got a lot going on. And for Sean to be wearing both hats, I think the adjustments he made against the Raiders give me a lot more confidence moving forward. And Sean kind of echoed that sentiment. I agree. He talked about the communication mm-hmm. factor, all that stuff. The okay. reason I was glaring at you preseason. through the camera. Preseason doesn't matter. Because. It doesn't matter. I don't think. There's got to be a difference between doesn't matter and matter. It's on a spectrum, right? And it's somewhere. It's closer to doesn't matter at all. But it it's matters some. We got to go through it anyways. It might as well matter a little bit. But it doesn't. You even heard Stefan Diggs talk about it. He even said, like, yeah, the preseason, like, you pretend it matters, but it really doesn't. Even exactly. He gets he gets it. No, it, no, no, no. You, you pretend you to... it matters because right. it matters, yeah. and then it pretend. doesn't really. So yeah. he pretends it matters. Yeah. It's, we got to it do doesn't. it anyways. Might as well act like. No, but they don't go through it. It's... Yeah, but if we stood up after a preseason game and be like, well, it doesn't matter. Why are we even here? That's what I did after the Steelers game, and I was right. <gasps> Steelers don't look great. But they looked great in the preseason. Yeah, the, I really don't feel like the Bills – I think the Bills were shocked at how much effort the Steelers put in. So say it. No. Okay. I hate you. Go back, watch the video, the 10 takeaways after the no, Steelers it was embarrassing so loss. Stupid. When I was just like, it's not a big deal. We're looking forward. What what do you what is the recipe that you want to see on Sunday in Maryland? What what do you want to see? Like if we're pregame and they're like Jenna's three takeaways, what are they? Three takeaways in terms of like players or what in general? In general. No, I think I said this after the Raiders game or before the Raiders game. I said, I don't want to see the Bills just win this game. I mm-hmm. want to see them dominate. Good teams can dominate teams that are worse mm-hmm. than them. I want to see this Bills team continue. I want to see Josh Allen be smart with the football. I want to see this offense continue to share the ball and have other guys step up yeah. because I think that does so much on tape for later on in the season. You have to respect all the players on the field. And I want to see the fact there's no turnovers. Mm-hmm. I want to see that again. My and one thing I'll take away from this Raiders game. Raiders aren't a very good team. I agree, but I think it's similar to the Commanders where they don't know they're bad yet. Commanders got more of a unit on the defensive line that That's can fair. The, the, That's the, fair. The Raiders had single players mm-hmm. that relied on other people. The defensive line, I think, is dominant enough. The Bills will not face, and we have to kind of lower our voices because there are players I can sense over my left shoulder that the, fa- the fact of the matter is, is that I, he's gonna beat me. the Raiders are probably the worst defense the Bills will face this season. I don't mean to rain on parades, but that's just a fact. So this is a real fair. test. 
for a team, like you said, that can dirty this game up. Mm -hmm. Big test again for Spencer yeah. Brown to keep that confidence and to build off it. I don't want to see the Bills go down. Like as go down to plays, their, yeah. plays sports, we've all been we've all been the better team and played a worse team. And you're like, why are we playing down to their level? I don't want to see the Bills do that. I want to see the Bills maintain. One last thing, uh, Greg Rousseau over there. Talked to him today. He feels like he can be one of the most elite pass rushers in the league. And, I believe and, it. And and I asked him. And he kind of said that. And he's like, thank you. Like, but he goes so talking about nice. it. Uh, so nice, but again, playing with an edge, a nastiness. Nastiness. That, that he Sean says it, it's about having, that he can play bully ball consistently. Yeah. He goes, he told me about a play last year against the Titans where he's like, I took an offensive lineman and I pushed him back in, into the quarterback. Like, that was how I sacked Ryan Tannehill. But it's another year of doing it. It's another tool that he can add in his tool belt to get there. I, I think he really is taking the next step. He is single-handedly wrecking plays against offensive lines. Yeah. And again, I know they rotate defensive linemen. A lot here in Buffalo. Greg Rousseau needs to be out there for 75% of the snaps. It's really cool to see that unit be what yep. they are right now. And Without Vaughn. Exactly. And that makes you excited if you're a Bills fan. 100%. That, okay, you know you're going to get Vaughn Miller back. But they have invested so much to see them get some impressive play, some pressure. I mean, that obviously, the I mean, Greg Rousseau is playing really well. Just checking the injury report. Yep. Okay. What All did right. you say? Anything? Nope. Nothing that we didn't already No. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, right. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, comment subscribe. subscribe. Buffalo Share. Plus, BuffaloPlusStore.com. Yeah. Bunch of people like the mugs. I tweeted out the mug on Sunday. I was going to say, we got a couple of Just the regular Buffalo it, yeah. Plus mug, travel mugs. Did you oh, order yeah, a we, travel mug? No, I need to do that. I need to get a, I need a, need to get a travel mug, right. too. I want to get Let uh, Josh cook with restraint as a chef. <laughs> yes, chef. Yes, chef. Like, comment, subscribe. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. For Dan, I'm Jenna. Bye.